first graders, I'm sure many of you have seen the writing prompt for today and it says an ant and it has some really big words at the bottom and some of you may not know the different parts of an ant. So I'm here today to give you a quick lesson about the different parts of an ant before you decide what you would like to write for your writing prompt. So ants are social insects, just like me and you, except they live in colonies. So when you see a group of ant living together, they're called colonies and they can be extremely large colonies consisting of millions and millions of other ants. So on your paper, there are some words. Of course, you have your ant's head. So attached to the head is their eyes, which they can see very well. They can smell, they can taste. Their thorax. The thorax is like the middle of an ant's body. The thorax is located behind the head, but in front of the abdomen. And it's the muscular like center of the body. It's where their six legs are attached to. In the abdomen, near their tail area, this is an important body part that contains their heart and their organs in their digestive system, so all the stuff in their stomach. And it also has their, you know, their bottom. Ants, you know, ants poop too. Everybody does. We also have their antennas. And of course we learned that their antennas help them hear, smell, see, taste, feel, and that's how they communicate, by rubbing up against each other and communicating with their antenna. And of course we have their legs, we know that ants have six legs, and boy, oh boy, are those legs strong. They can lift almost 10 times their body weight. Yeah, ants are like Hulk strong. And their antennas, those little things that are sticking out of the top like this, do you know what they use those for? They're very special. They allow ants to hear, taste, and touch, and smell using their antennas. And do you know how ants communicate? Do they just come up to another ant and say, hello, Frank, how are you doing? No, they use their antennas and they poke each other and touch each other with their antennas to communicate. Imagine if we did that. I hope that helps you with today's writing prompt. I know many of you, you know, we really only see ants like outside or if they creep into our house because I dropped some sugar. I hope this helps you write at least two or three really good sentences about what you might know about ants. Maybe you experienced them out on the playground. Maybe you found an ant hill at your house out in the, in the yard and you were watching some ants hang out. Maybe you saw an ant carry a little crumb across the driveway or the sidewalk. I don't know. I would love to hear about what you've experienced with ants though.